Hello everybody, I'm playing Airmech. In this video I'm going to be going over one of the new things added in yesterday's patch, uh, auto build. It's explained pretty well in the patch notes, but I find that when big new features like this are added, I like to see them fleshed out in video form, like, um, just for example, when I used to play, like, make Minecraft videos and stuff, I would look up on Mojang.com and I would read the patch notes, but then I would see in what other, like, see what other people had done with the new features, just to see, you know, them, uh, presented to me, because that just helps me catch on faster, um, so I'm gonna do that for you here with auto build. The way it works is I'm gonna I've done this for a reason, which I'm gonna explain in a moment. Uh, this is my Osprey build that I was using for co-op in my How to Grind Games video. I've swapped out Goliaths for Gemini's and um, grinders for heavy mines because they cost less, and that's important because the way that auto build works now is I'll go and jump to a co-op game here. I'll go two v two. They added um, different matchmaking options, so now you can pick if you want 1v1, 2v2, 3v3 for all the things now. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm going to jump into a game here because the way that auto build works is if you have 10,000 more credits and the most expensive thing in your build, your loadout, that is, um, they will spawn automatically from the fortress on a capture command. So this is going to find a dude, and I'm going to show you how that works in-game. And I'll tell you if it's viable at all. Okay, here we go. So the creeps are coming out in their little first scene here. You say I have 20,000 credits, and it's automatically added without me pressing anything. Um, this ultimate bucky to my thing. So that just rolled right out of the base. I haven't pressed anything except the movement keys all game. And shoot. I like shooting. I got colorful lasers. Amazing. Wow. Anyway, you can fly over here. Um, and just for this kind of stuff, it'll just roll out of the base. You see? It just took the 5,200, I believe, the Seekers cost. Oh, 5,400. Um, and spat it right out of the base. So, if you fly over a post and something in the auto-build queue comes up, it'll give you the chance to pick it up and do whatever you want with it right there. It still builds it on the, the T command, the, the uh, capture command. So, be wary of that if you aren't well-versed in those. Uh, C to stand still, T to go for a post, Y to go for the base, I'll let it do its thing. Um, yeah, you can see that it actually just built a generator and automatically put it on this pad over here, because I didn't do that. Um, and that's really cool that it can do that. So that helps new pl that will help I think new players not have to do so much base maintenance and stuff for things like that. But uh, my piece on this, I think that if you can disable this in settings, which is good, and I'm going to do that right now because um, uh, it uses the same algorithm or whatever you want to call it that the AI uses to pick which unit to spawn. So what that means is that I'm just trying to look for the thing here because I haven't spawned it before. Uh, Auto builder, uncheck. Which is bad, because it's going to start spitting out things like ultimate buckies and other lightweight units that the enemy can basically come over to, land on, and destroy, and then just salvage, you know? So I'm going to build my healing thing here, which is the same ability that you use to salvage for Ospreys. Um, basically, all that sending a bunch of individual units at any one place is going to do is guarantee the enemy gets lo like a lot of chances to... I mean, it, 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 it wastes your credits, it, it removes the ability for your units to... Um, you know, have any on mass force that you need when th that makes things like tank rushes and stuff effective. Um, oh, also, here's another interesting thing that was just added. When you heal things, when you, I'm gonna just find a unit that needs healing, I guess. That'll take, I'll have to, so th something I'll have to get hurt first, and I don't want to die doing it, so, you know, wait. Um, you saw that the damage when I was shooting that tank there was orange. Now, um, this is really helpful, I like this a lot. Uh, it, tell, it, it, it tells you, um, what your, your attack type is having, like, what the effect is having on, like, the, uh, the thing that you're shooting's armor class, so, yeah. Uh, you can see this thing here is being healed, and the healing numbers move down, and that's to help colorblind players. That's all in the patch notes, too. I don't want to get too into detail on the patch, because you can just read about it, but the auto-build is something that I wanted to talk about specifically, and I did, and I turned mine off, because it's silly. So I'm just gonna crank out a million ultimate buckies, because I told this guy that I'd win it with him after I was done, you know, talking about the feature. So that's that. I've got my control button held down to select everything at once so that I can send it all with a Y command just straight to the base. Um, and you will see how when these things shoot the things there, look, see that? That's red damage. That means that that little jackal is just annihilated. But the orange damage means that it's having a reduced effect. Just like when I shoot an enemy air mech now, it comes up as orange. I don't know if you saw that before. Uh, and also when you're on the ground, damage that you put out is 10% uh, greater from ground when you're on the ground to other air mechs. So anyway, these guys are here. I'll help them out help me shoot stuff up. So, this video is over. Thank you for watching. Um, turn off your auto build if you don't want to feed the enemy team experience and salvage. That's my recommendation. If you're new to the game and you're just playing co-op, maybe leave it on because it'll help fill in some of the holes in your 
line that you forgot to fill in with your defense and stuff, and it'll auto-build your pad unit, so while you're further up in the field doing your thing. Yeah, that's probably the one place where this is worth anything at all. If you can't be going back to your base, and you used your money on different things at the very beginning of the game, I don't know why you would, because everything is 50% off, but for some reason, if you built pad units, or if you didn't build pad units, and you want them automatically to build, then leave it on. But it's, there's also no guarantee that that's what it's going to build, right? Like, it could just be a huge waste of time. So my recommendation is to turn off auto-build, because I think it's kind of useless. Thanks for watching this video. Bye-bye.